This is 101 on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. On this episode, we're one-on-one -on -one with Bami Dele Onolaja. Mr. Onolaja is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer at Revolution Plus Property Development Company Limited. He was awarded the Real Estate Entrepreneur of the Year at the Real Estate Excellence Awards organized by Better Media Limited. He was also awarded the Real Estate Personality of the Year Award at the 2019 City People Magazine Awards. He is the founder of the Chris Bamidele Onolaja Foundation, which empowers widows yearly, provide child and maternal health, economic empowerment, free scholarship, and also runs a full-fledged private um, Nigerian primary school in Ikorodu, fully free to educate less privileged children whose parents cannot afford a private school in that access. Also, giving scholarships to students up to university level. Hi, Mr. Onolaja. Hi. I mean, that's part of your, I mean, your, your profile is huge, but that part is definitely warming um, the heart. What led you to deciding to start this type of foundation? Having a school is not an easy fit, and now making it free. What is the drive behind this? Um, well, so many things. Me and my wife, uh, co-founders of the Trump Foundation. Okay. Um, we've gone through so much. Growing up, I grew up from a family of 10, and I have the opportunity out of so many of my key family, of my children, my dad's family, to go to university. We are very few that had such opportunity among 10 of us. So, um, and I grew up where it's not that there's so much money, so I know what poverty is. Hmm. I know what struggling is. I've felt it, I've seen it, and God blessed me to be a blessing to the world. So when God gave me the opportunity to have opportunity to help people, so many people want to have good quality education for their children, but they don't have the ability to. So me and my wife came together on my 40, 50th birthday um, to found the Chris Bamdili Onaja Foundation. Mm. So what we do every year is to empower widows. On my wife's 40th birthday just this year, we empowered 40 widows. Mm. We also empower schools. Apart from our private school, free school, we have other schools that we also support. So the school is a free flesh school at Ikorodu. It's free school, free feeding, free books, free bags. Everything is free. Free tuition. You don't pay one naira. So how, how do you fund this um, free this education? Because yeah, we, we, people will tell you good education does not come cheap. Yeah, it's true. So how do you fund this? Um, we fund education from our personal pockets, personally. In fact, let me tell you, there's COVID. They, they've not been in school for it, but we've been paying the teachers. Hmm. We pay them 50% of their salary. They pray for us every day. Because so many private schools cannot pay. But we've been paying, despite that the school is free, we pay them every month. So do you have a limit of, um, or number of children that should or can enroll in the school part time? Yes, we do, because the school is big, but not very big. Mm -hmm. So we, when we started, we started last year, yes, we started 50 children. Now, the 50 children are progressing. You know, when you progress, move to maybe just uh, primary one, primary two, other children have to fill. So we have increased it to like 70. Mm. So we have a projection of increasing, maybe adding 10, 10 people or 10, 10 children or 20, 20 children every session. That's the plan. Wow. Because in the area, we chose Ikorodu because um, that particular area where the school is, is a low income enhanced area. Mm -hmm. And we have a property there. So that was okay. We converted the property to free school. It has full fled library, ICT center. It has a canteen. It has um, where children can sleep because we have babies, where they can sleep and wake up. Is it has a sick bay? Hmm. So, is so aside um, being able to pay um, the teachers even during this um, lockdown and the pandemic, have you been able to incorporate any form of online learning for the yes students? for the children? The school, yeah. the children are right now. They we do online learning, mm -hmm. which. So many private schools are charging, but we don't charge, it's free. Mm. And how has the capacity been, actually, in regards to them having the gadgets? Yes, the, that, that's where the problem is, because number one, one of the best ways to learn in Nigeria now is mm -hmm. physical. You have to be in the school. So because so many things are deterrent and affecting this online thing, data, for instance, 
is a major thing because, like I said, it's a free school. Their parents don't have money, to, so not to talk about buying data. So what we do, we have like a center in each of the area, like five, five children come, you learn. The teacher teaches you from his house. He learn, we project it. We have a, maybe a laptop. So that's, we broke it. But even at that, it's not really, they are not feeling it because mm. they are not used to such. Mm. So it's like a new thing. We, we are trying to push them. And you know, this IT, IT is very expensive. Yeah, it is. It is very, very okay. expensive. So um, the Chris Bamindele Onolaja Foundation focuses on the widows. Yes, we have four, um, four okay. major areas of focus, okay. child and maternal health. Mm -hmm. That means we, get, we cater for pregnant women, we cater for children, which is part of what we are doing. Mm -hmm. So we, are, we have focus of in building hospitals, mm -hmm. free maternal hospital for pregnant women. We, employing doctors and nurses, we pay them 100% and it's free. Once you are pregnant, you want to come there, you won't pay anything. So is there, is there a personal experience that you'd want to share that actually decided the areas that you have chosen um, for your foundation? Yes, personal experience and because of the club where I belong, I'm a Rotarian. I belong to the Rotary Club of Maryland, which is part of the Rotary this never one zero in Lagos and Ogun State. So the Rotary, Rotary Club, has like six major area of focus. So we just chose four mm -hmm. out of it because those four are very germane and important to our experience as my, me and my wife, as the founders of the foundation. Because child and maternal health, mortality rate to ratio for children being born is very high in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And also scholarship. People want to go to school, but they don't have the money. Economic empower, which is what we do. We empower widows every year. So it is very, very important. So those are things we think are very common among the society. That's why we chose those four. Hmm, I must say I'm impressed. I mean, what you're doing is amazing, but it doesn't come cheap. So let's talk about you and what you do, because you've said you fund this foundation. So we're talking hospitality, we're talking education, yeah. we're talking health, we're talking everything that can make the life of the poor uh, man better. So how... What is your business exactly? Everybody says real estate, <laughs> but tell me, what is your business? Well, um, Bamdelan Laja is the chief executive of this of Revolution Plus Property. My wife is the executive director, so me and my wife work together. So many people ask me, how do you work with a wife? For me, we've been doing this for six years. So because I'm an ex-banker, I was a mortgage banker for 13 years. After I left banking, I founded Revolution Plus with my wife and we've been running it together. And I can say that's the best help I've gotten from anybody. Nobody can do that business like my wife, I'm telling you. Mm. So I'm a kind of a different man that see it differently the way other men see it. So men cannot work with my wife, but for me, I have nothing to hide. She knows my income, she sees the money, she sees everything, and I'm better for it because she's a woman, a proper finance manager. Mm. She's been, she has helped me develop mm -hmm. in my finances so much. So. I run Revolution Plus Property. Revolution Plus Property started just six years ago. Um, so many people will think, ah, I thought you are 20 years. No, we are not. We are just six. But we have Grace that's working with us. We have Grace. And despite that six years, we have been able to have over 30 years, 30, about 35 estates right now, and still counting. We have open branches in Lekki, Ikeja. We have in Abekuta. We have in Ibadan. We have in Abuja and Portacot. Hmm. So we have expanded over the years into, into a global brand. And also, we have another very big branch also in Dallas, Texas. We are registered with the U.S. government at Revolution Plus Property. Hmm. So we are doing so much. So what we are focused on Revolution Plus is to provide affordable housing for all. Because as a, when I was working in the mortgage bank, I got exposed to loans, mortgages, so I know what mortgages. I know what people go through to get mortgages. Mm -hmm. I know what deformed. You know, they you give them money, they don't pay. So I know what the banks go through also. So when I started this company, I said, no, what I want to do is affordable housing. You can pay mortgage interest free over 24 months, mm -hmm. over three years. We have new la young landlord promo, which is for children, five years interest free for children. So and it's been very very welcome. Okay. So so many people, and we have affordable land and houses, so people are taking advantage of it. 
what's the business model of Revolution Plus, aside how people are able to acquire? Now, how, how do you get finances and how do you ensure that your bottom line remains safe? Especially with the fact that this is the same place that funds the foundation. So what is the business model of Revolution Plus, including the grace of God as well, like you mentioned, that has um, made the business grow, this, have this massive growth in the space of six months? Six years. Sorry, six years. Thank you. Uh, well, firstly, I recognize God's grace. That's mm -hmm. the first thing and foremost I tell everybody. I don't know how he grew this big. Also, having worked in the bank, I learned processes and procedures. Because I worked 13 years in a corporate organization. Even my wife worked in a corporate organization before both of us resigned and started the company. When I started the company, two years after my wife joined, she was still working. So I learned procedures and processes of how to do bookkeeping, marketing. We are well branded as a company. We have ties, we have jacket, we have what we wear, you know, and we are we do so much adverts. Those are the things I learned when I was working. We have if you come to Revolution Plus, you will think it's a bank. Because we have you people are saying, is it more than house that you people are selling? I tell them yes, because number one, I'm leaving a legacy mm -hmm. that will outlift me. It's not is this not a one man business. It has even grown beyond me and my family. It has gone global because now we have people that work for, we have over 5,000 staffs. Some of them full staff, some of them realtors. They do, they sell for us. They don't resume in the office, but that is the only thing they do because they only sell for us and they make their daily income from sales of our properties. So because of those ones, we have grew and we are supporting them to make sure that they succeed. So such business cannot be about you. Mm. Because if anything happens to me now, I'm very, very sure and certain that the business will continue, which I'm sure I will live beyond 100 years. All right, let's go for a very quick break. But when we come back, we'll carry on this conversation with Mr. Nolaja. Mm.